And as the situation continues to develop in New York and as we learn more about yesterday's attack, we're bringing in international relations expert Yvonne Davis to dig a little bit deeper into what we know so far. First of all, let's talk about the suspect. He entered the United States in 2010 through the diversity visa lottery where the State Department hands out about 55,000 visa per year. Now, tell us a little bit more about this specific program. Well, in this specific program, there are certain qualifications that remain. You have to have a high school diploma and you have to have employment work experience at least two years. If you do not have a completed certified diploma, you are not even allowed to apply for even the lottery to be even be considered. In 2010, it says that uh, the, the terrorists entered into the United States. And at that time, there were about 3,500 uh, uh, peer persons from Uzbekistan that were allowed into the country. Out of the out of the 3,500, 194,000 applied. So millions apply from all over the world because they want to come to the greatest country in the world. So in this regard. If you look at the history from 2010 to 2015, there was, there was a gradual increase of applicants for as high as 1.2 million coming from that country alone. And so with the now extreme vetting process that President Trump wants to really kick into high gear, then what will happen is those numbers will just be cut significantly to half or less than half, particularly what, what's happened last night. You know, and that would be my follow up question. You know, we've heard from President Trump calling for stricter rules on who we allow into the United States. You know, we have some tweets that he sent out this morning saying that the terrorists came into our country through what is called the diversity visa lottery program, a Chuck Schumer beauty. I want it to be merit based. You know, we have other ones. We're fighting hard for merit based immigration. We need to be much, much tougher and smarter. Then there was a third tweet there. Again, uh, we're just saying, you know, pointing out Chen uh, Senator Chuck Schumer there helping to import Europe's problems. Do you think that the president is now gaining ground when we hear of attacks like like this and that it was carried out by we someone have who to not turn this situation into a partisan battle or fight. The reality is, is that the qualifications for the diversity pre uh, diversity lottery program has remained the same. If the qualifications need to be more stringent, then then it has to be it has to be a united front. It's not a question of a singling out Senator Chuck Schumer versus President Trump. The reality is, is that there was five terrorist attacks related to uh, people from persons from Uzbekistan. This is an issue that the United States has to pay more attention to what is happening in Uzbekistan and in that whole Caucasus region. And the opportunity to fight terrorism has to be fought there and then worldwide coming into this country. So we have to look at those those types of things right now that's happening. I suspect now that because of the current administration, there will be more stricter enforcement, but we have other challenges that lie ahead. And so the numbers under the Obama administration did go up as it relates to bringing immigrants into the country, and then it started to go back down. So I suspect that that will take place. And you had mentioned a little bit earlier that, you know, years ago we had a little bit of a discussion with Russia about watching people from that area and countries that used to Absolutely. be part of the Soviet Union. How have things evolved over time when it comes to immigration from that area? Well, when you look at the situation, what happened with the Boston bomber incident, Russia had some intelligence that they offered the United States. The United States was hesitant on receiving the information. I believe they used some of it, but there's always been this tension between the two great superpowers. So in this regard, where the two superpowers could cooperate more is the fight against ISIS, the fight against Al Qaeda, which is still alive and, and active. And so I think that in terms of uh, being able to clamp down on what's happening in the region, that needs to happen more. And the United States truthfully has not paid attention as it should as it relates to terrorism in that region. With what's just happened now and the affiliation with ISIS from the IMU and the JU, which are two uh, terrorist organizations, the United States will need to pay attention more because mostly the attention has been in the Middle East and North Africa. All right, Yvonne, thank you yes. so much for your time. We really appreciate thank it. Thank you Tim, so much. Erica, we'll send it.